Welcome to your Flame Fundamentals training. In this video, you'll focus on changing the speed of a shot. You might call this speed changing or ramping. In Flame, this is called time warping. So in this video, you'll change the speed of a shot, control how the frames deal with the speed change, and finally, you'll look at another scenario where you can adjust the speed of a segment over time. So here you have a shot of a fight sequence and you'd like to slow the shot down. Select the shot and ensure the focus point is on the same track as the segment. This helps focus the current video track and ignores any layers above. To slow the shot down, click the Add Video Effects button and choose the Time Warp Timeline Effects. The Time Warp is added to the Timeline Effects pipeline and its basic parameters appear below in the Effects ribbon. Now what's worth remembering is that Time Warps are about changing the speed of a segment. This includes reversing the playback speed of a shot and you'll find the button right here. Now there are three ways to Time Warp a segment. The most common is to change the speed using a percentage or frames per second. The second option is the segment timing, where you can map exact frames to specific times within the segment. Or finally, you can set the duration of a segment and the speed will be adjusted to match. This one will also trim the segment in the sequence. Please remember that these time warp types operate individually and are not linked. To slow this shot down at a constant speed, simply change the percentage to 60%. The next time you review the shot, the segment plays back at 60% of its original speed, but please note that the physical length of the segment does not change or ripple the sequence. When changing the speed of a segment with the Time Warp Timeline effects, the expected behaviour is that the segment length does not change or ripple the segment. This prevents unexpected chaos when using Time Warps in the sequence. However, there are situations like this, where you'd like to change the speed of a segment to fit a gap in the sequence. You could do this with a 4 point fit to fill edit but a faster method is trimming the segment with the Time Warp Timeline effects. Apply a Time Warp Timeline effects to the segment using the Add Video Effects menu and set the Editorial Mode to Trim. To scale any Timeline effects including a speed change, you must set the Keyframe Move Mode to Reposition proportionately. Now trim the tail of the segment to close the gap. When you look at the speed slider in the effects ribbon, you will see that the speed has changed to accommodate the new length of the segment. One common issue when it comes to changing the speed of a segment is the stuttering during playback. For slow motion, frames are repeated, and for fast motion, frames are skipped. To deal with this, you can adjust how frames behave with each other. This is called interpolation and there are a few methods you can use. Firstly, you have frame mixing. This mixes past and future frames together and this will give a smoothing or trailing effect. Trails is the same as frame mixing, but it gives you finer control over blending of past and future frames. The final option is motion estimation or what other applications may call optical flow. It does take longer to render, but instead of repeating frames, it morphs frames together. The quarter resolution motion analysis refers to the strictness of the algorithm, and the default setting is optimal for most cases. This may not work for every shot, but when it does, you can get some very smooth slow motion effects during playback. In addition to changing the constant speed of a segment, it is also possible to perform a variable speed change. 
Some applications call this speed ramping or time remapping. So as before, start off by adding a time warp timeline effects to the segment. To perform a variable time warp, you need to animate the speed of the segment. Therefore, ensure you enable Auto Key. Starting on the first frame of the shot, keyframe the speed to 100%. A yellow line appears at the bottom of the slider to indicate a keyframe. Go 5 frames forward and increase the speed to 300%. Go forward another 5 frames and set the speed to minus 600. Go 10 frames forward and set the speed to 700. Finally, go 15 frames forward and keyframe the speed to 50%. So between the different keyframes, the segment changes its playback speed, giving a unique result compared to the original speed of the shot. Turn off Auto Key and set the frame mix interpolation to 5. If you play the clip again, the frame mixing gives an interesting feel to the time warp segment. Please move on to the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Flame Learning channel. Thanks for watching.